What up friends? So here we are. It's been what two weeks since we've activated the solar? Two weeks since we got it going. Yeah, about, to about the RVs. Weeks. And about a little over one week since the all the panels and the inverters have been active. So we just want to share how it's been performing and also probably more interestingly. Oh all this comes. Okay. Oh, maybe maybe more interesting <laughs> is how much it all costs. Um, something definitely someone who's interested in this could do themselves. Uh, to do yourself we were interested obviously and we did it and i don't know anything about solar <laughs> and i barely know i barely knew much about electricity just a little bit from my air force days and i think i added an outlet or two and yeah in a in light our in house. our old house and that yep. was pretty much my experience with electricity and just getting electri electrocuted whenever uh changing out <laughs> little lights light switches and stuff here and there so, so you've come a long way yeah, yeah. so our solar array combined is 10 kilowatts of power on a sunny day which is most days we've been averaging maybe seven uh, from I would say what 8 30 7 30 depending on daylight savings time it just happened <laughs> to about 4 30 we've been getting pretty good power from that at the beginning of the morning we've been hitting about six we've been starting at 60 percent of battery capacity so we use about 40% overnight. That is quite a, bit, a lot, but right now we're, the way we have it set up um, in the insulation on in the shed, we're, we have to have run a little space heater and that's what's warming up the, the room. It's setting the lotus setting. But my point is, is we start at 60% and maybe by like 10.30, 11 o'clock in the morning, we're already at 100%. We've been kicking butt with that and then we just stay at 100% pretty much all day. So as far as pricing is concerned, what we have here is are two different panels. We have eight, we have eight 370 watt monofacial uh, panels here. And that's one reason they look a little darker than the other ones, but they're all black, same, same company. Eight Aptos 370 watt monofacial panel. When we purchased it, we purchased it in, I think April or May of this year, 2022. It was $264 um, each. And we got it from Signature Solar and they were $2,112 and no change. And we have 16 more panels from Aptos. These are 440 watt bifacial. So those were $339.20 for a total of $5,427.20. Those were also from Signature Solar. The difference between the monofacial and the bifacial is actually the bifacial will also get power from the back. It will actually be another 30%. If you put if you put them on a roof and you got like a, a white roof, or you put them on the ground and you put like maybe a white sand or some rocks or something to reflect back up, that will get you get you some extra power. Uh, don't quote me on everything about this stuff because I'm not the expert. Go do some research yourself. I ask them um, solar installers and stuff who've been doing this for a while. Also, what's next? We had to purchase. The mounts, the mount system. Now, the poles themselves, you're gonna, if you ever do this you, and you do a ground mount system, you're gonna wanna get, um, probably get them locally. I did a lot of research and I was looking at some just to deliver here because I was like, I don't wanna deal with people. I just wanna order stuff online and have it shipped to me. And uh, it was ridiculously expensive. <laughs> a lot, very expensive. So we got it from a place that was actually, it wasn't um, it's too local, it's within an hour or so. And they were, how much were those? We bought eight um, 20 foot, 21 foot uh, black pipe, two inch schedule 40 structural. So there's a difference between structural are gonna be using the, the threads on the, on the end. We don't need the threads, we're mounting it and we're gonna cut some ends off. So those were eight, those were $112, 44 cents. So it was like about $900 for that. Now we're on the back, you can see the difference between a monofacial and a bifacial. This one's more solid black, and then there's, there's no light coming through the panel on the other side. Light is coming through, light is coming through slightly. Next up is our Tamarack ground mount. Whenever we ordered these, um, you get the directions, it actually tells you how to do all this stuff. So it's kind of, it's pretty neat. If you can follow directions, you could do this. They're actually what's attached to the pipe. And then, they at and then the solar panel is attached to that. So you first have to get the first column. Um, there's only one difference between the, the first column mount and then the additional column. We bought one 
first column ground mount, and that was four hundred and twenty-seven dollars and twenty-one cents at the time when we purchased it. I looked back on their website; the price did go up. I don't know it. It's only it's probably like fifty, sixty bucks more. I don't know. Um, and then we had to get five more additional mounts. Those were three hundred and forty-four dollars and forty-one, sorry, and forty cents at the time we purchased. So a total of uh, seventeen hundred and twenty-two dollars. So it's probably like about twenty-one hundred dollars for that stuff. Um, very important if you're going to do a ground mount system, if you're going to do a roof rack, that's all on you. Um, I don't know anything about that. All right, one of the last components we have out here um, to exclude the wiring and concrete and sauna tubes and all that jazz and <laughs> excavation even <laughs> is our combiner box. So the point of our combiner box is to combine all of the solar panels, which we have in series, uh, into uh, two strings two sets of strings, sorry, two sets of strings going to the inverter. So one set is going to one inverter and the second set is going to the other inverter. So basically we have each column is one string. They're strong in series. Um, the other way would be in parallel, but we're not gonna get into, go into the differences. Google the difference between series and, and um, parallel if you wanna look into that. We got this combiner box from 24 seven watts. Um, they have a bunch of other stuff too. They're basically anything you can get to build most of this array. And this one, we got, I think it was an open box or something. It was $219. Normally they're like 300 and some odd dollars. One thing about this box though, is that it has the, the first string that goes to one inverter is four, uh, four columns of um, panels. And the second string is the last two. So I was a little worried when we first got it because I wanted to hack half, three, and three, because we have six columns. But it works out because the first two columns that we have are 370 watts of uh, power, and we're not getting all of that, it's not 100%. And then it has one of the 440. Then the, the sorry, it has two, right? Yeah, but it works out uh, It works out at the end. Each inverter is getting around 3,000 watts, so it works out. Um, the batteries are working, everything's working. I love it. So basically each uh, string is actually going to a fuse and this is actually, the combiner box itself acts as a uh, turn off, off and on point, if you will, to the array. So I could literally, I mean, sorry, to the batteries, to the inverters. So I can turn it off right there, each one, and then turn it back on. And we also have another um, switch, disconnect switch, right in the in the um, in the shed right before the inverter so we have double double safety what we have here is uh, something that you see in a lot of other people who have solar power um, eg4 live power 4 lithium ba uh, batteries so these are 5.1 kilowatt yeah <laughs> batteries so they're fifteen hundred dollars each from uh, signature solar and we got six of them, so about 30 kilowatts. And the box itself, what is this rack? Was 500 at the time. Uh, I think right now there's specials. You can get the whole thing. They have a enclosed box now that has a door and everything. And I think running about the same price, maybe a little, little less actually. Some of the things that we've learned from the batteries, we don't have the LCD screen. They have another one that's like, I think it's a, either one or $200 more, maybe $250 more, I don't know. Each battery has LCD screen. And uh, I, kinda, I kinda wish I had those because without getting too in depth, I don't have a Windows laptop. And there's a thing called BMS, Battery Management System. And you connect, preferably a laptop because it's portable into the battery and they can it'll communicate and you can see like uh, fault codes and whatnot. So I have, Chelsea and I both have Macintosh computers. So uh, we had a fault one time and I had to download an emulator on my, on a Windows emulator on my uh, computer in order to connect it and read what was going on. Uh, it turns out that the battery was too cold. It was like, hey man, warm me up, man. So. We, um, since then, we've insulated and added the, the little space heater in here. Unfortunately, I don't have the doors insulated. It's kind of my fault. And 
the batteries are right next to the door. One of the problems that we run into for us is that the space heater takes a lot of um, energy and that's almost the only thing that's running at night just to keep these going. <laughs> so it's kind of funny how it's a, a, a big circle, but hey, it is what it is. That's where we're at right now. What's up, Jazzy? What do you want to share about the batteries, Jazz? <laughs> <laughs> she, she loves them. She's like, ooh, it's warm in here. Yeah, it is warmer. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, now I know why you guys are in here. The last couple of components that we have in here are all from GrowWatt. Um, and also, we got them from Signature Solar. So the, our inverters, we have two. They were $899 a piece. This is a 5,000 watt inverter, so combined 10,000. And these, these um, their output is actually 240 volts. So if you ha get these, you're gonna need an, an auto transformer here in America, which is ours right here. So this one was running $329. Unfortunately, when I purchased these, I knew I needed an auto transformer. And that was in April or May of this year. And I didn't order the auto transformer. So when I put these on, somehow in my brain, I brain dumped that and I forgot I needed an auto transformer. And I started wiring it. I was wiring it actually uh, similarly to a different one, with another inverter that I would have purchased from from Singers for Solar, an EG4 model. My output was like 240 and I was like, what the heck is going on? I was freaking out, I was like, I want 120. And then I was relearned that I needed an auto transformer. So we haven't had any problems with them at all, really. Uh, the only problem that we have is whenever the voltage gets low because it's a little chilly for the batteries. And other than that, he's been kicking butt. Um, one thing that I didn't realize, and then later when I read on Singers for Solar's website that you need a, uh, this is a Wi-Fi monitor. You need one for each each inverter as well. So if you ever end up going with these, make sure you get those. And the last thing that's worth noting is just our wiring and, and, and other little components, like our fuses, bus bars, and a disconnect switch. Um, we got all of our cables, except for stuff that came with each component. This came with some wires, even the batteries came with wires, so our cables. Um, we got all of our stuff from Amazon. So only thing that we didn't get was like, or I'm not going to mention is like the conduit and stuff. That's going to be all unique to, to your system or, or whatnot. I spent approximately $1,400 on wires and cables and stuff like that. Some of it you just might not need because you might not have to run your wires as far as we did. All right, so in conclusion, we are satisfied with um, what we've done. <laughs> we love solar. Yeah, <laughs> but we also need to give credit to, to some of the places that we learned some of this. Um, most of the, I mean, I didn't make any of this up. I have never done any of this before. Um, we watched a lot of YouTube, read a lot of things on line. Forums, blogs. Yeah, forum blog. One of the first things I'll mention is uh, Will Prouse. If you go on, on his, um, if you follow him on YouTube, he has a website as well. Uh, there's a blueprint I pretty much just followed whenever it came to the components from the inverter to the batteries and whatnot. Only difference was I used a different inverter. If I did it again, I'd probably just use that one. That one came out after I purchased um, purchased this stuff or around the same time. I don't know. I don't know. It was, I realized it after anyways. Uh, David Paz on, on, on uh, YouTube as well is very educational. He installed the same inverters at same w w one point on his uh, system, and then I followed that. So let's uh, let's talk about the total system cost mm -hmm. for us to install. So as far as the total of the solar was twenty two thousand five hundred and twenty six dollars and ninety one cents. Which I'm just gonna say is a lot less than I thought originally it was going to be when we talked about going solar. I. Pretty much everyone I had seen online talking about it said you had to spend 35 to 40 mm -hmm. total for the whole system, but just like panels alone would be 30. So I was really happy to see that this total was only 22,000. Yeah, 22. That was with the inverters, the panels, the batteries. That's pretty much that. The accessories are gonna be different. That's why that's going to, That's why I mentioned that differently. It was $1,400 for us, $1,400, $3.99. So that was all the like fuses, bus bar, all the wires, cables, our combiner box. You may or may not need it. Shipping again, we spent $1,900 on shipping. So that's gonna be different for you as well. That would include even our shipping of our pipes. 
that came from like an hour away. I mean, we paid, that was probably one of the most, the highest shipping costs. So when we first purchased this, this kind of funny story was <laughs> we, th uh, we, we knew we were gonna build it here, but it was actually cheaper for us to ship to Florida and then bring it from Florida. So the grand total was two, two. <laughs> <laughs> the grand total was? The grand total of, <laughs> the grand total of everything for what we paid was $25,856.55. So that does not include like, we had to excavate. And if you <laughs> look back in our videos, we did not do anything that was like Renting normal. <laughs> yeah, we failed. We rented an auger, that didn't yeah. work. We had to rent an excavator, that mm -hmm. worked. We probably should rent another excavator to move all this rock back, but we're not going to. No. If you have any questions about our system or whatnot, um, I'll be happy to answer them. I don't know everything about solar. Keep that in mind. But um, there's plenty of resources below. <laughs> there's plenty of resources out there. I can show you where I learn. Um, look at look below on the um, description. We, we're gonna put some some links on there where we learned and where we got some things. And um, yeah, just remember. You can do anything. You can do anything you put your mind to. Yeah, if you try to, just put, put effort and, 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 and try, you know, you can do it.